we're identifying key areas that we feel uh, there are issues in, in the flight. You know, they said, oh, you should probably do a study. And my comment to them was, beg your pardon, if we go to a meet, next meeting in August and say they're going to do a study, our citizens are going to kill us. They don't want to hear that we're doing a study. They want to hear what are we doing as a plan. So if we look at key areas, um, you know, Bridgeville's been flooded many, many times, and it's always flooded in the same spots. A uh, couple of things we're looking at is um, the bridge right here, obviously, is, is a dam. Whenever we have a flood event, the debris comes down the creek, and it catches there and floods Baldwin Street. But we also have flooding right back here, too. So behind the um, block and run, or the block and creek where it hits the back channel, there's a lot of sediment going up. That's in, our Corps is trying to look in and see that's part of the Fulton flood project. And that's supposed to be cleaned out. It's not cleaned out, and we had flooding, we had maybe flooding back here as well. Um, so those are, those are key areas where we're looking at the causes. Um, the, the, the debris, what's that? The debris that's coming down is, is obviously a big issue of where, where we're getting this flooding. So we're asking Upper St. Clair to clean their creeks. We, we clean, our borough, our borough workers maintain our creek beds. We go in, we get the, we get the uh, um, permission of the property <coughs> owners to go in, remove the debris, uh, any type of you know, lumber, trees, whatever's in there. So whenever there is a flood event, it doesn't end up down here and turn, and turn into a, uh, a dam. You go up the block and past Bridgeville, you look in the creek bed, you'll see all kinds of debris in there. So we're at, we went up, we like up to Clair to clean their creek, number one. We're also, we, have, we applied for a permit um, for uh, McLaughlin Park. We're putting a, a trash bin or a trash catcher right there at the, at the uh, bend of the creek, and then we're looking to actually lose our park, our ball, not our park, but our ball field, get rid of our ball field, and make that a retention pond. So when there is a flood event, if the debris comes down, it catches there, and it dams up there, and the water fills in the retention, and does not continue to come down. Um, we would like, we told the Allegheny County uh, to talk to her St. Clair, uh, there's, 20.57 acres that we all know that's sitting right there off of um, McLaughlin Run. That is, they're trying to sell it and develop into properties. We feel that's a very bad uh, choice for that piece of property. Mm -hmm. It should be a retention line. That's right. And, and uh, Ms. Abbott, it's, you talked about a wall of water that came down. Yes. You know, I, there were, if you saw it during that flood event, at where Outback Steakhouse was. Yes, I did. Was basically a holding pond. Unbelievable. And then those cars block up that <coughs> cars and uh, which way? The tunnels. The tunnels there. And when that broke tunnel, loose, when that broke loose that's when, yep. we believe that's where that wall of water came. And that that was supposed to be done. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's, there's I mean, yeah. you can do a study all you You're want. Right. You know, it's good to do studies. You've got to know your and, facts and this, before and you and jump and forward. And I'm so, you know, the project that this planning commission has, you know, it's a very mm -hmm. grandiose project, and it would be phenomenal for this town. But we're a small little community. You know, our budget each year is three million dollars, and you're talking about a project that's thirty million for our community, and it's. You know, it's, it's real easy to sit there and say, oh, just do it. This needs to happen. Yeah, it, it, it can happen. It, it, something needs to happen. But we're looking at, hey, what can we do right now? So right now, what we're looking, what we're trying to focus on is a couple easy things. Clean out the creek. And that's just manpower. That's having people go in and manpower. Down here, where the back, the back channel is, get that taken care of manpower again. Our catch basin at the ballpark, that again is um, cost money, but that's we're asking that we're asking the county to help us accelerate the permit process because it can take up eight months. We always would like to get it done now, you know, as soon as possible. So we're 
and that's not an expensive fix. That's not a, that's not a big expense for us. We can do that. And then the bridge project, we're we're asking the county to help us with the bridge down here. To to it's they're telling us that the bridge is not defective or not defect efficient, but we're saying it's a bad design. I mean, we know we know the bridge is, we know the bridge is functional and it's not going to break or anything like that. It's not going to cave in, but the bridge is not a it's a bad design, so we're asking for help for that. That's that project's a little more expensive. That's now we're talking, you know, two million dollars, three million dollars for that in the in the top set. There. So those are areas we're focusing on right now. As far as for St. Clair, we're asking them to look at those. I mean, Outback Steakhouse is is uh, condemned. Don't put something back in there. Now. Fix it. Use use it for water retention. We're, we're supposed to be meeting with um, Bethel Park and hopefully over St. Clair. Bethel Park has already reached out to us because it is a regional thing, like, like Mr. Pryor said. It, it's a regional problem. It isn't a regional problem. It's not an upper St. Clair problem. It's not a Bethel Park problem. It's all of our, it's, it's the whole watershed coming down and blocking line. So we're trying to work, we are trying to work together with all three communities to come up with a solution. Um, you know, like I said, we don't want to be, we're a small local community with limited budget. I'm not saying Upper St. Clair has a lot more money than we do, but you know, could they sacrifice a 20 acres? You know, it's easy for us to say, yeah, sure. Why don't you just sacrifice that 20 acres and do something with it? Um, the the Outback Steakhouse, yeah, I know that's a nice piece of property, but maybe you could sacrifice that too. I mean, they just they took the nice up by Whole Foods. They got a nice little urban center up there. Maybe you can give up one. You know, I know I know Bridgeville. If they, if you told us that. Hey, if we had to sacrifice, you know, a couple of parcels of property, and it was going to fix a problem, we would do that in a second in a heartbeat. Yes, sir. Do you know what the county's budget is for the refurbish this refurbishment project? Yeah, we're we'll we'll back on that. Because if it's two million to replace it, then why waste money refurbishing it? Well, that, so that's, that's exactly that's, 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 that's exactly what we told them. They, they, they asked them to put it on hold. Yeah, we did tell them to put it on hold. Don't do anything refurbish. <clears throat> Find out what those numbers are. So just like we did. Just like the bridge project down here, when the when the PennDOT was going to do a little bit of a project to it, we said, "Hold on, you know, you're you're going to put money into this bridge. Let's see about fixing it." You know, so if, if they have a power, you know, a certain amount of money budget for it, let's see what we need to get to the next level to fix the bridge. You know, so don't waste, don't put, you know, good money in that. So, so that's where we're at. Um, I hope I hope I answered some of your questions.